Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, should the all ages, hi, with Shono here, about to give you another WWE Mayhem video. In this video, we're going to be maxing out Ted DiBiase, the brand new four-star version from rank one, level one, all the way up to rank five, level 50. Now, unfortunately, I was not recording my voice when I originally did this. You guys can see the million dollar store right here. One thing to note is that the multiplier does not change between the three star and the four star. I've tested this and you can see that the values are exactly the same. You do get a max energy refill. I would like to see maybe a one week cooldown implemented in the million dollar store. Otherwise, what is the point of even having this? Because there really doesn't seem to be much youth out of this. You get a 50 gold discount from premium cases. You can also get a 10% discount on the esteem cases. But again, I feel that this is most useful when you have a weak cooldown in the store. So I'm hoping they implement that. The cash multipliers, again, are really cool. It's going to drastically increase the amount of cash that you get while playing the game. So if you have like a whole day to spend, you might want to do the cash multipliers because you will get a... 10 25 or 50 percent boost to all cash in all game modes or even when you open cases now we're going to look at ted dibiase you can see 659 power 3938 health 356 damage now to actually get him up to rank two it is pretty cheap it's not going to cost you a whole lot to actually get him up So you can see the max amount, 17,550 cash. He'll go up to 786 power, 4,222 health, 386 damage. And this is a rank 1, level 10, maxed out 4 star. You're leveled up. But the first few levels are always pretty weak. Alright, so you can see from his ability, strike attacks 25% damage, a high chance of stun after million dollar dream, a high chance of injure after diving back elbow, and a chance for a random debuff, all 98.2%, basically max out, almost always going to happen when you trigger a signature or a submission or after the super move, 86.6% .6 chance of heal after submission move, also injure after submission move, meaning that both of these signatures have a submission move. A 75% chance to trigger Vigilance after pin kick out. And this is one you're probably not going to see very much, but it is there. And it is really powerful because that means you can't get reverse and you'll reverse them. And at the start of the match, you have a chance to trigger debuff immune. This is a super powerful effect that everybody's going to want to have if you can somehow overdrive Ted DiBiase either through pulling a second one through the famed or legendary case or by simply using a overdrive material because you can do that as well but yeah ted dibiase's kit is really strong to take him up to rank two you're gonna need four tier three basic weights two three tier two weights and twenty five thousand cash and you can see the stats that you're getting at rank two Just awesome. so the abilities are now upgraded and if we go into it now it's 31.3 percent strike damage it's still the same duration for all the deep buffs. 90% um, chance to heal after submission move. 90% chance to trigger injure after submission move. 78.8% chance to trigger vigilance after a pin kick out. So now we're going to upgrade him to rank 2. Maxed. We're going to use our leftover cheap materials to do that. Alright, so we have him at level 8, 13,050 cash, 904 power, 4,485 health, 413 damage. He's getting stronger! 
All right, so we're going to load up on more materials and come back to you in just a second. All right, so 33,690 cash to take him up to max rank 2, 1082 power, 4,883 health, 454 damage. So the stats are not that impressive for maxing out rank 2. We've seen some 4 stars basically at rank 1, level 1 that have comparable stats. So now to take Ted DiBiase up to rank 3, you're going to need 5 tier 3 basic weights, 1 tier 3 showman weight, an advanced tier 1 weight, and 55,000 cash to do the upgrade, which we have plenty of. You've ranked up now. So he's going to gain 14 power, 32 health, and 3 damage, and now he is rank 3. Nice! So his ability will be upgraded, 37.5% strike damage, a 99.1% chance to trigger stun, injure, and random debuffs, 93.3% chance to trigger a heal after submission move, 93.3% chance for an injure, 82.5% chance to trigger vigilant. So now we're going to use whatever random materials we have left and we're going to go fill up again on materials. For those of you guys that are skipping through the video, once again, unfortunately, 5,010 cash, 1,124 power, 4,978 health, 464 damage. We're going to gain two levels up to three. For those of you guys that have skipped forward in the video, I had to re-record the audio, so that's why it could be out of sync with my lips. All right, so 11,700 cash to get five levels up to eight, 1,194 power, 5,135 health, 480 damage, and this is where I noticed that the rank up materials cost 20% rather than 10% more. So somehow in the Retro Madness update, they increase the amount of cash that you have to spend on materials. We get 70 power and some other random sets. There, we're going to load up again. Ugh. All right, so another 11,700 cash into Ted DiBiase. Another five levels to 13. 1,265 power, 5,293 health, 496 damage. So we're using these cheap materials up just to get them out of my stash before we do the juicier upgrades at rank 4 and 5. Just so we can kind of get the higher ranks up quicker. Alright, so another 11,700 cash spent, 1,321 power, 5,419 health, 509 damage, gaining 4 levels up to 17. So yeah, rank 3 is where we're starting to see increases in stats decently. Alright, so another 11,700 cash with the 125 materials, 1,363 power, 5,513 health, 519 damage, gaining 3 levels up to 20. He's leveled up. Alright, so another 11,700 cash, 1,405 power, 5,608 health, 529 damage gaining three more levels up to 23 so we should have three more cycles this and we he should be able to max them out at rank level. three right, so now we're putting our heavier materials in just to finish off rank three and using some of our overflow materials All right, so 25,230 cash to finish off rank 3. 1,504 power, 5,828 health, 552 damage to get the last 7 levels in rank 3 on Ted DiBiase. New and approved! So now you're going to need 3 tier 4 basic weights, 2 tier 3 showman weights, an advanced tier 1 weight, 80,000 cash to actually take him up to rank 4. You've ranked up now. So you're going to need 4 tier 1 advanced weights total, 3 Just tier 3 awesome. class weights, and 2 or 3 tier 2 class weights. So now the strike attacks are 43.5, 99.5% on the stun injure random debuffs, 96.7% chance to trigger a heal after submission move, 96.7% chance to trigger injure, 86.3% chance to trigger vigilant after pin kick out with the duration going up. So I'd like to show off the rank upgrades for every rank just in case you take a superstar at a certain level. So we have a bunch of the big barrels and we're just going to try to level up Ted DiBiase as quickly as we can up to max rank 4. 
before we use the cheap materials. So we're just using all of our big stuff to get them up to rank 5. So to finish off rank 4, 157,476 cash, 2,061 power, 7,076 health, 681 damage for 39 levels. So a significant amount of materials needed to actually take him up to rank 5, but totally worth it and you get a good chunk of stats. So now to take him up to rank 5, you're going to need 5 tier 4 basic weights. Three tier four showman weights, which we did prep, and two advanced tier one weights, a hundred and fifteen thousand cash. You've ranked up now. So we get another fourteen power, thirty-one health, three damage, and now he is rank five. Nice. So now is where the fun begins and where we get the biggest upgrade. So now strike attacks are 50% damage. You guarantee a stun with the million dollar dream. You guarantee an injure. You always get a random debuff. You will always heal after a submission move. You will always injure. 90% chance to trigger vigilant after pin kick out for 11.3 seconds. All right, so we're going to dump everything that we own into Ted DiBiase. All of our more expensive materials. And see how much we need beyond that. These are the big upgrades, and this is where it's going to get expensive. All right, so 146,140 cash, now at 2,501 power, 8,060 health, 782 damage, gaining 30 levels up to 31. So we still have quite a bit of work to do, but we have a good chunk into rank 5 done on Ted DiBiase. I don't know if we're going to have enough materials to actually take him all the way up in this uh, recording. So we might have to make this a second part and we'll show some gameplay in part two as well. Including the synergy that I recommend. Alright, so another 29,888 cash into Ted DiBiase. 2,558 power, 8,187 health, 795 damage, gaining four levels up to 35. And this is where... We're kind of running cheap on materials, and we're going to have to use some lower-end stuff to finish them off. Or get as much as we can. I think we get them up to level 37. All right, so another 5,915 cash into Ted DiBiase. One level to 36, 2,572 power, 8,219 health, 799 damage. The best project you'll ever work on is you! So in 14 levels, he gains about 198 power. How do I know this? You'll see. All right, so he gains one more level to 37, 3,600 cash spent, 2,586 power, 8,251 health, 802 damage. He's getting stronger. All right, so with that little bit of uh, spice for you, we're going to finish off the Million Dollar Man at Ted DiBiase in part two of our upgrading process. Now, I'm pretty confident that I have enough materials to actually max him out now. So we're going to take some materials and get him up. Now, I did notice that it seems like they raised the amount it costs to upgrade a superstar by 10%. So I will have to plug new values in, unfortunately. All right, so it's $11,700 to take Ted DiBiase up to level 38, one level, 8,282 health, 805 damage, 2,600 power. I'm going to be using some of the weaker materials first before we get to the juicy ones. So there might be a couple cycles of refreshing. I just want to get stuff out of my inbox and have less stuff expire. So the next few levels might be boring. Okay, so now we get two levels up to 40, 2,629 power, 8,346 health, 812 damage, another 11,700 cash. He's leveled up. Okay, so another 11,700 cash. We get another level to 41, 2,643 power, 8,378 health, 815 damage. 
So again, this is gonna be a little bit slower than actually using my higher level materials, but I wanna get them out of my inbox. You're leveled up. That way I have more time to collect materials. So I'd rather use the cheaper stuff rather than the expensive stuff. Okay, so another 11,700 cash use, 2,657 power, 8,409 health, 818 damage. We have eight levels to go. As he's now level 42. You've ranked up now! Okay, so another 11,700 cash put into Ted DiBiase, 2,685 power, 8,473 health, 825 damage, and we gain two levels up to 44. He's reached the next level! Okay, so to finish off Ted DiBiase, he's going to have 2,770 power maxed out, 8,663 health, 844 damage, 51,694 cash to finish off. He's maxed out! So his PI is a little bit lower, but this could be a world first maxing out Ted DiBiase. And that just looks beautiful. Alright, so again, if we look at the ability, strike attacks 50% damage. He's always going to stun after the million dollar dream. He's always going to deplete the opponent's health by a certain amount. And a random debuff after dirty tricks. He also has a heal after submission move, injure after submission move, and vigilant after pin kickout. So, there's some interesting ways that we could probably gear up Ted DiBiase. So... There is debuff teams. I think Foreign Legionnaire has one. I know Sheamus and Cesaro has some synergy. So we're going to build some teams and we'll come back. Okay, so here's one scenario where you can use ability debuff duration and ability debuff power. So by using the Foreign Legionnaire and Path Partner, you can actually get debuff abilities that last longer. This is very important for submission stun because you can make the stun last longer. You can also make the injure last longer with a higher probability. And of course, if we were to have uh, Cesaro with Drew McIntyre, or actually Sheamus with Drew McIntyre, debuff abilities would have more power. So then you have Shinsuke Nakamura with critical hit damage and debuff abilities with more power with Sheamus. And also with Cesaro, pass partner longer duration on debuffs. Shinsuke Nakamura and Rusev, more power for debuffs. Rusev, critical hit damage and foreign legionnaire. So yeah, if you throw in Drew McIntyre along with this team, you have a lot of brawlers and powerhouses, but you're going to do some pretty gnarly damage. So if we take a look at the abilities for DiBiase, now his stun is 7.4 seconds which is plenty of time to get off another special one. Thank you, Rome Demon, for the subscription. Welcome to the God of Assholes Club. But look at the injure after diving back elbow. 7,338 damage. That's pretty good. And then you also have a, a random debuff, but look at that. If you do an in, like a signature move, you're going to obliterate your opponent. So is the Foreign Legionnaire synergy worth using? Absolutely. It's probably way better than using Showman Synergy. So, my personal opinion, I think the best way to outfit Ted DiBiase is by using this Synergy right here. Now, once Lana is made available in the game again, outside of the Mayhem Anniversary versus events, which is a horrible way of introducing characters, by the way. 
I also feel that the loot cases, the featured loot cases are rigged. I brought this to Achilles and Nana's attention months ago during testing, and they haven't done anything about it. So for those of you guys that have spent $100 like Jeremy Bowman, you probably deserve a refund because the drop rates are not what they're intended. So debuff synergy, in my opinion, is probably the best way to outfit Ted DiBiase. Now, unfortunately, there isn't like a Mayhem United. There is a class daily that we could actually take this team on. So let's go into the Brawler Zone. And let's go into Superstar Difficult. I could do Insane. But I want to save that for a recording later today. So we have Kane. Now, I don't know how easy it is to actually get like an injure slash stun effect without eliminating the opponent. I also feel that, well, we could do that. We could just take damage until we get up to two bars. That might work. It's probably going to take too long otherwise. We'll probably just knock out Kane with a special. There we go. All right, so there's the diving back elbow. Let's get that off, and let's see how potent this injury is if we don't one-shot. No, we don't, so we can actually kick out. we heard all around the world. Oh, this is it. Long pin. We're going to fail that on purpose. Almost. Now, watch this injury. 376 a second. That's a long injury, ladies and gentlemen. What's this? If you connect on a signature, you're basically going to eradicate uh -oh. your opponent we know what's with one to signature face. move. And that's not that covering all, all the other the stuff that Ted DiBiase is capable of doing. So we're going to wipe out Kane right there quite easily. Again, we're kind of just goofing around. I know I could have played that a little bit better and not taken damage at the start of the match. But that injure is legit with four in Legionnaire, let me tell you. You definitely want to have that on your team. All right, so next up we have Sheamus, and we have a class advantage. I, I don't know if we can beat Sheamus without knocking him out. Ah, uh, here we go. I mean, we could check for a one-bar submission move and do that. That's probably not a bad idea. Let's check for a one-bar submission move, which would be a figure four leg lock. Nope, we're gonna get an elbow drop. We know what's coming. Even that hits the mark. So he's gonna get overrun. Yeah, so Million Dollar Dream, figure four. Like, I, I don't want to use either of them and just knock them out, even though it's very Ooh, to the face. That'll be heard all around that the hits world. for 4,000, and He's Sheamus does get knocked out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But in Superstar it. difficulty, it'd be a little bit harder to show this off, considering that the opponents don't have that much health. I think Superstar difficulty might have gotten nerfed a little bit, because the opponents do have a little bit less power. But that's intended... Because you're dealing with um, a lower difficulty, and they've raised the bar. So Ted DiBiase awesome against brawlers because he does have an advantage against them. So there's no shame in using them in these events. My the problem, of course, will be can I actually get off the submission and not knock him out? No, I can't here. Let's get off the diving back Whoa, elbow. We know what's again. coming. Yeah, that's going to be my problem, actually getting off a submission down. without knocking somebody He's out. In trouble. Like, I think Ted DiBiase oh, no, just does too much damage. I probably should have done this in the same difficulty, but I didn't want to waste energy on that, especially when I need to complete Superstar. So what are your guys' thoughts? Do you guys think that foreign Legionnaire is the way to gear up Ted DiBiase? Do you guys have a better scenario? Because I really don't feel the Showman synergy is where it's at. All right, so we have a tag match here. We can... This is actually a good example. We can get to two bars before uh, Drew McIntyre comes in. That'd be great. Although I have a feeling he's going to tag out. Oh, we're off to a winning start. I just have that feeling. All right, so basically at two bars. Let's see if we can get off a submission. Good decision to tag out. Or if he's going to block spam. There's the million dollar drink. So we're not going to swipe. And I want to show you guys how Andrew potent this effect here. is. Yeah, I don't want to swipe because I'd probably knock him out. There he is. He's stunned and injured. Look at the damage that's doing. He's still stunned. Uh -oh. we know so he's what's basically coming. taking that three to four thousand damage while stunned. The stun just now wore off after that close on. So that is a devastating oh, effect anywhere. right there. If you can combine both a stun and an injure into a submission move on top of the submission damage, T Ted DiBiase is very powerful. And not only that, but you heal up 
after every submission move. So not only are you getting the stun, but now Ted DiBiase is back to full health. So yeah, very powerful character, I feel. A capacity crowd is here tonight. Now we got the Nacho Man. Alright, so we're gonna go to three bars and hope he kicks out. There are some negative effects yes. that hamper somebody like weakness to that we might be able to show off, but we this need is the, the Macho Man to famous. kick out, and I don't see that happening. Well, no, nope, he's not kicked out. I know in the title the final matchup, they do kick out. How many people would actually like to see title matches back in the class events? Because it takes about a half hour to actually clear insane difficulty. It's a little bit less for superstars, there's only two paths, but who would like to see title matches in the class events? This kind of offset the gold loss. Now we have Sting going up against Ted DiBiase. And we're gonna keep doing super moves. And here we go! Let's take a little parry damage there. I, love it. The I hope you guys enjoyed the evolution full clear. I feel that was the hardest of the insane difficulty events to date. Mostly because I couldn't block attacks that way. The opponent would just block spam like crazy. So Ted DiBiase and Sting both kind of a low two bar. Oh, it's a submission match. Alright. We could have used the Million Dollar Dream. We're going to go off the uh, Super Move Figure Four Leg Lock and get rid of some. I don't know why they put a submission match in a brawler. Like, we know Ted DiBiase has multiple submission moves, so he's pretty good at that. I think Flair is probably the best submission uh, specialist in the game. But Ted DiBiase is pretty good, too. He's got a 1 and a 2 with submission. It's kind of hard using a 1, and you kind of want that injure on signature move. So when you see the Million Dollar Dream... You definitely want to take it. So now we have Ted DiBiase going up against Oldberg. Now in Goldberg's prime and Ted DiBiase's There's prime, I think that Ted DiBiase would have no chance of competing with Goldberg. None whatsoever. So we're definitely going to get a kick out here. Now one thing I have noticed oh, yeah. is that if you get a stun from the random negative effect, you will not trigger the stun. No I don't know if that's intended or a bug, to the face. but the negative effects, I think, did not world. used to have a stun component in this. So that partially could be why. Oh, what effect do we get from this? We get weakness. Okay, that's perfect. Look at the damage. Uh -oh. Three damage from a critical coming. hit. Now remember the foreign legionnaire does increase the debuff duration, and look how long that lasts. Look that's a this. super uh -oh. long weakness. And we're basically taking no damage. So four and Legionnaire synergy, definitely legit. 34 damage. Yeah, there's an exhaustion, but that's okay. We're going to hit him right again in the dick. And this was a great example showing off the strength of four and Legionnaire with Ted DiBiase, who I feel is the best way to gear him up. There could be other scenarios that might be better. You might want to go with icons for more overall damage, especially in regular events but i feel that for like ultras and stuff you probably want to go with four and legionnaire i think that's going to be the best way to outfit it now granted some ultras only allow three uh four characters instead of five so your mileage may vary but there you see the tier three brawler completed but yeah looking at the synergy which is 100 percent legit it's not ted dibiase that gets the buff it's all the four and legionnaire so you have the ability debuff duration and you have the ability debuff power. I feel that this is the best way to gear up Ted DiBiase. You could go with Icon Synergy, but really I feel that if you're going for raw damage, you're, wanna, you're definitely going to want to go with Sheamus, Cesaro, Nakamura, and Rusev. Now, my question is, do you get the same synergy with 2 stars and 3 stars? Because there is a difference. So if we put in Sheamus, we're going to put in Shinsuke Nakamura. We're going to put these as two stars. The reason I'm doing this is I want to see if it's even possible um, to get the good synergy with two stars. So, no, it's definitely not as strong. So you'll have weaker synergy with the two stars, but it is very doable. So if you're missing a component with the four stars, you can definitely still use it with the two stars. If you like this video showing off Ted DiBiase completely maxed out and my preferred synergy, the foreign legionnaire and the uh, past partner, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe. 
Share this video amongst your friends and as a favorite. Check out my other WWE Mayhem videos playlist. Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Show. On my Instagram, which is Hollywood Show, knows God. And that is some really powerful synergy. If your idea is the main Ted DiBiase, that's the synergy I'd go with. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys learned something from Ted DiBiase. Have a wonderful day, kid. Have you guys pulled your own Ted DiBiase yet? www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!